Hi, this is Gwen from Hairbow Supplies, etc. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel ribbon sculpture. You will need four pieces of inch and a half ribbon, about four inches long, a lined alligator clip, a measuring tape, a lighter, scissors, hot glue, a little pearl or a rhinestone button, a piece of paper, and I believe that's it. Okay, let's get started. First, what we're going to do is we're going to make cute little triangles, and I've got a little template here that I've made with another piece of paper, but what you're going to do is get a pen. Oh, you need a pen too. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna get a pen and just a piece of just a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what kind. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your measuring tape and measure two inches from the corner to the side. And put a little line, or a dot, excuse me. And then you're gonna measure two inches on this side and put a little dot. You are going to measure should be three inches from line to from dot to dot should be just about right there we're gonna draw a line there and that should be inch and a half from the top to the middle okay so there's your cute little triangle you can see this one more time just to make sure you understand two inches here two inches on this side three inches straight and one and a half inches and this is going to make your cute little pinwheel. Okay, so we're going to take our scissors and cut your little triangle out. Okay. Alright, so this is the triangle you're going to use as your template for your ribbon. So you're going to do this for all four of your colors. You can make this as cute as you want. You can use whatever colors you'd like. If you want to do it a 4th of July, if you want to do a Christmas one, birthday, you want to match your cute little outfit, whatever you like. Okay, so you are going to put your triangle right on your ribbon and you're going to cut along the line. Okay, so it should look just like this. Then you're gonna get your lighter, and you're gonna seal the edge all the way down. Now, tricky part is, when you seal that edge, it could make it a little wavy if you do it on too long. So you just kinda have to pass it over carefully because you want it to just keep that little cute little triangle shape. Okay, so now you're gonna do this for all the other three colors that you have. I have tried to cut them all at the same time uh, just to save time and it doesn't work because ribbon just does not want to stay or be cut. It just doesn't want to cooperate so you kind of have to cut one at a time so you can keep the pretty little line. Okay, I have all four pieces cut out. I'm just going to seal the edges with my lighter.
Okay, next I have a felt circle here. This is a one inch felt circle. They come in adhesive and non-adhesive. This one is just self-adhesive. Um, doesn't really matter which one you use. Okay, so I'm going to take each one of my four pieces and I'm going to create a square. Okay, so you're going to take each piece and line it up. Get your, get them as close to the center as you can. Just like this. And then your big one should fit right in the center. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the inside of one of the corners and we're going to hot glue it to the center. So I'm going to get my hot glue gun, put a little dot of glue in the center. I'm going to flip up one of the flaps and I'm going to make it stick to the center. my scissors here and tap down on that. Okay. And I'm going to turn and put each one of the edges down. Get some more hot glue in the center. And bring down my green piece. Okay, and I can turn now. more glue, flip up the center, and push that back down with my scissors. My green piece isn't happy. I'm going to get some more glue and get that green piece back down a little bit better. Okay, and then I'm going to get my pink piece, some more glue, and put that down in the center. Okay, now that I have all my pieces on, I'm going to get some hot glue and put my pearl right down in the center. Oh goodness, my pearl almost flew away. I'm just having the hardest time today with this video. Okay, so a little bit of glue is in the center. And then you're going to put your pearl right down in the middle. Okay, let that sit for a second. And then on the back, we are going to put our lined alligator clip. I kind of had my pink one up. This is kind of how I did the other one. I had my pink one up and then I put my alligator clip on the back. So I'll do that for this one too. So I'll put a little bit of hot glue. 
and then just take a clip and press it in. And that's it. That's how you make a pinwheel ribbon sculpture. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great day.